to our TV fans. It's Miss Kitty LaPerre here, trackside with Panty Hoser of the Death Track Dolls. How's it going, Panty Hoser? Excellent. How are you? I'm doing well. That was an exciting bout. Tell us how you felt about that one. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, we worked really hard. Uh, we played our best. Um, we've been working on a few new lines and strategies and stuff that are really starting to come together, and so we're really proud of that, and we're really stoked. Yeah, you guys were skating really well as a pack together. How's training going in terms of you know, this season, what are your goals? What are you guys hoping to achieve? Uh, well, we're working, uh, we're working a lot on endurance because I feel like that's something that really has held us back in previous bouts. So that's been a big thing. And then really just working on uh, really getting our roles on the track down uh, and working to, you know, exploit everybody's best strengths when they're on the track. So really. Awesome. Thanks so much. You played really well tonight and congrats on your win. Thank you. Hey to our TV fans, I'm here trackside with all-star rookie jammer Santilli in your face of the Death Track doll. Santilli, how was that for you? It was really good. I really enjoyed the power jam. I didn't really enjoy the last jam where I got sort of a beating, but it was fun nevertheless. I had a great time. And how do you get into the zone? Uh, I kind of just clear my mind, try not to think about what I could do wrong try to think about what I can do right, and that usually helps. Usually. <laughs> awesome. You've seen the Smoke City play, uh, Betty's play, obviously, earlier on in the season. Is there anyone in particular that you were looking out for coming into this bout? Oh, well, I think we were all looking out for Bruiseberry a little bit. She, uh, well, you know, her name says it. She gives a lot of bruises. Uh, her and Mia are two really uh, very hard hitters, so I was definitely looking out for them, but luckily I had a lot of help from my teammates to help me get by them or keep them occupied so I could go around them. That they certainly did. They certainly did help you, but it looked like you're quick on your feet and you're totally blowing past the pack, so looking good, looking good. Well, you did fantastic for your first official bet with Tord and great jamming tonight. You were awesome. Thank you. Yay! Thank you. Hey there, to our TV fans. We're here trackside with Rugburn of the Smoke City Betties. Rugburn, you played an awesome bout. Tonight was your first official bout with the team. Tell us a little bit about how that went. Um, well, I mean, obviously I was really nervous off the bat because first bout jitters and it's my first time playing in front of a crowd. But uh, I don't know, it actually went really well. In the first half, I felt really good about how I was playing. Got lead jammer a couple times, scored some points, which is always good. Um, and uh, took some good hits, but I uh, didn't fall over every time, so that's also good. You were pretty solid on your skates. You were taking those turns. It was it was pretty sweet to watch. It's all it's always great to see rookies doing that. Watching a lot of the tour seasons leading up to you know your first bet. Was there anyone on the Death Track Dolls that you were looking out for? As in as, as in as a threat? Yes. Um, Jubilee is always a threat, and uh, and she definitely lived up to that. And uh, Hoser definitely got in my way a lot too. And I mean, Sharky and Bomber, like jamming against girls like that is, I mean, it's intimidating for sure. So, uh, yeah. Super intimidating, but you managed to hold your own. You did great out there. And look, we totally look forward to seeing more of you for sure. Awesome. Congrats. Thank you, Thank you so much. We've got Mia Culprit here from the Smoke City Betty's Mia, which is great. How did you feel uh, for this bet particular? Well, I mean, the Betty's have been working really really hard and I think it showed today it was you know this is one step in continuing forward we're getting ready for beast we're prepping our strategies we are really being a strategy focused team and you could see it tonight you could see our strategies coming out there especially in the first period even when I was off and like I was key pivot and I'm off and they're still executing the strategies we needed to do you saw a lot of um, speed walls at the front so we got the pace line going uh, when their jammer was coming on, so it, you know, just that quick reaction time, it's yeah. getting a lot faster. It was looking pretty solid, you know, yeah. it was a little bit neck and neck, and it was looking like you guys were going to pull away. Tell us a little bit about the second half. What happened there? I think the second half, I mean, we brought, I thought that the dolls were going to start to counter our strategy a little bit. Like, I thought for sure they were going to come back and really give it to us. But then it seemed, you know, we got out there, and we're like, alright, our, we're still working. What we're doing is still working out here. Mm -hmm. I think we just got tired we started racing a little fast and if we just would have slowed and held for a little bit you know like really controlled we had a couple times where um, the jammers had power plays and then we would race to the front 
and separate. Whereas if we would have just dropped to the back and made a three wall and just been nice and slow at the back, yeah. she would have got back locking on us, right? And like yeah. taking away that jammer speed. So just key little things we just got to tweak that are going to help bring us up to yeah. the next level. Absolutely. And we look forward to this continuing progression for the Smoke City Betties. It's super exciting to watch, you know, a team bring it together, that dynamic, watch it form. So it was really, really awesome. And you did super well tonight. So congrats on that. Thank you.